Hey guys, welcome back to Building a Dream. So on this episode, I am building a chicken pen. So I'm trying to use all um, natural materials and recycled materials for everything that I build during the whole home build. So the container house, the um, caravan, chicken pen, everything. So um, I've just got over here um, a chicken house made out of recycled wood. And then I'm just using all the trees that had to be cleared for um, where the container house is going to go. So I'm just using all of those to make the chicken run. And so the chickens are in the house right now, getting used to their new home for two days. And then hopefully in that time I can finish the chicken run. And then I hope they like it. <laughs> of the things I want to create and that's what happened here. I had this vision of this little red enchanting door in the bushland being all magical and stuff so I found this free door on Marketplace and painted it red. I also had this idea to find a free cubby house on Marketplace for the girls um, home to sleep in at night but I couldn't find any and I actually came across this guy who had an old chicken home that his girls lived in so this is what I've used and I decided to also paint it the same red colour that I painted the door just to add to the magical feel. For fire safety reasons there needed to be um, an area of land cleared where the container house is going to go and so for that reason there was a lot of logs and everything and I told the earthworks guys to make sure they left them behind so that I could use them and so that's exactly what I'm using for the chicken coop. So I'm measuring these and cutting them to size with the chainsaw. Okay so then it was time to install the post and the depth of these holes needs to be about a third um, a length of the post that you're putting in. Now I also made this natural cement using a mix of clay and fine sand and um, water to kind of hold the post in place but they were pretty secure anyway with the depth of them. I put in a total of 10 posts and I would say the trickiest part was just making sure that I had the measurements correct and that the door frame was going to fit, so the door into the frame that is. So the next step is to connect chicken mesh to the post and you're going to do this with U-staples and a hammer. I also put some posts along um, the bottom as well that were very heavy and connected this with U-staples too. Okay, and you also may be thinking, what about boxes? Because I have got that comment before, but don't worry, I will be adding something very soon that will definitely be keeping them out. So like I said, secure the bottom of the chicken mesh to the bottom beam that you've got there that's really heavy with U staples. You also might be wondering where the girls are. They are in that house right there. Um, they need to get used to their home for a couple of days when they first move into a new environment. So they're in there getting used to everything and I shall reveal their pen to them soon. Okay, so now we're going to work on our middle beam. So you're going to find logs that are the correct size or cut them to the correct size and then you're going to secure them using um, a clove hitch and square lashing. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here on the sides and you're going to go all the way around the chicken coop. Um, it needs to be the height of your chicken wire mesh so that you can secure that to your mesh.
chickens to produce a lot of eggs and pump them out and die young. So these girls are actually quite old, but it has meant that I've lost two girls now and only have two left. So now we're just using a reciprocating saw to cut off the tops of the posts and level them all out. All right, Exhibit A, we have Jasmine trying to take on the world again alone. Um, in all seriousness though, I am securing the top beam to the top of the chicken coop. I am doing this with a rope again, but also with bolts because this one is quite heavy and I definitely want it to stay on top of the chicken coop and not end up on the ground. And look, this did take me a few goes again, but I got there in the end. And I just wanted to share a little quote with you on that. Uh, it's one of my favorites and it goes like this. Extraordinary success can be achieved by ordinary people through the sheer power of determination. And what more do you need really? And the final step is decorating. So we are going to take the rope. I know I said I didn't have much left, but I was keeping this bit aside, especially for decoration. So we're gonna wrap it around the top and then add a few little final touches, like a little door handle and an entranceway. And then voila, you are done. The girls love their new home and this project cost zero dollars. Yep, that's right, zero dollars. And it took me only two and a half days to complete. So thank you for watching, bye.